One of the major selection criteria for choosing a virtualization environment is how efficient the technology is to restore in case of any disaster. So there could be any kind of uh, IT disaster and when you execute the IT disaster recovery plan, it is extremely important to choose the technology that really helps you to recover from the disaster immediately without uh, much downtime. That is where my selection for the virtual environment is always Proxmox because Proxmox gives you flexibility to restore the virtual machines and even to restore the containers and even to restore the entire Proxmox virtual environment. So when any virtual machine crashes or if there is any misconfiguration of the machine, uh, Proxmox virtual environment also gives you the snapshot option where you can restore the machine to the recent known configuration. So this happens when you have the virtual machine which is crashing or virtual machine is not behaving and Proxmox virtual environment is fine. So in that way, you can of course restore either from the backup that you have taken or restore from the recent snapshot. Now snapshot also is not available in all the storage uh, options. So you have to choose uh, the appropriate storage option to see if your uh, backup and our snapshot is supported by that particular storage type. Now, when we talk about backups of the virtual machines, now you have uh, multiple options. In fact, uh, one of the ways, of course, to have is that uh, you create the cluster of multiple Proxmox virtual environment. And once you create the cluster, uh, you make sure that high availability is available. Uh, so in that case, what will happen that if the main server fails, so your VMs will start immediately without any downtime on the other machine which i have already shown you how it can be done but suppose if you have uh, the proxmox virtual environment which is now uh, crashed and you want to restore the virtual machines in order to restore of course you should have the backup that is the traditional way of course if high availability is not there or if you have not created the cluster of multiple proxmox virtual environment so the best option for you will be to uh, do the backups of the machines regularly so what kind of backup options are available? Of course, one of the options is that you choose the backup of virtual machine on the uh, local storage of the Proxmox virtual environment. That is, of course, not much safe because if the Proxmox virtual environment will crash, your backups are also stored there. So that will also crash. So that's where the shared storage option will be the best. Uh, so I recommend NAS storage if your load is not much or if your machines are not that critical or if the downtime is not critical, then you can afford to have the downtime uh, while you will be restoring the machines from the uh, network storage. So network attached storage can be used if again you want to go for the uh, open source, then I will recommend TrueNAS. And in TrueNAS, I will recommend TrueNAS Scale. That will be the best option to do the backups. So you can use CIFS or NFS to mount the storage to your Proxmox virtual environment and then configure the auto backups uh, for your virtual machines uh, that should be uh, done on periodical basis and the backups will be of course uh, storing on the uh, network attached storage. Then if I talk about uh, storing into Proxmox backup server, in my opinion that is the best option if you want to have the regular backups. So Proxmox backup server is in fact the native backup solution of the Proxmox virtual environment. So why I recommend is that the restore is extremely simple because first of all, it will do the incremental backups. So you don't need to worry about the time it takes to backup. You don't need to worry about the resources that it will consume to backup your virtual machine or containers. So Proxmox backup server will be the best choice uh, when you want to do the backup of virtual machines. Of course, even if you have the clustered environment, even if you have the high availability configuration already done, uh, still I will recommend you to do the backups of the virtual machines regularly. Uh, it will help you to recover from any disaster. It could be even the disaster where all your servers have got fired. So uh, if the servers are crashed, of course, you should have the remote backup also. So if your backup is done first time on the backup server and then you have moved it to another location and in that location, incremental backups are being taken care of so it will be great at this age of technology of course uh, the internet bandwidth is not a big deal where you can even uh, backup the virtual machines on remote sites also and even 
as I have shown you, one of the drive that you can connect is the Google Drive and even you can also connect the OneDrive. Uh, so that will also give you flexibility to uh, back up your virtual machines directly on the OneDrive without going through any expensive cloud solution. So these are different type of uh, uh, backup strategies that I wanted to discuss with you today uh, while I was doing a walk uh, in the evening. So I thought that uh, most of you have asked me questions that why, uh, which type of backup we should do and whether the Proxmox virtual environment is efficient in terms of uh, backup and restore. So I definitely recommend you to go for the Proxmox virtual environment when it comes to the efficiency, when it comes to reliability, when it comes to performance, and at the same time when it comes to recovering from disaster. So as I mentioned, a VM can crash, container can crash within the Proxmox virtual environment or even your entire Proxmox virtual environment can crash. So in that case, what you can do, you can of course use various backup strategies. So I use uh, grandfather, father, son. Uh, this is a strategy where I do the regular backups of the machines on daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis. There are various strategies, of course, I can discuss this with you in a separate video where we can talk about the backup strategies and how the backup and restore can be done. I have provided a separate section where I have explained how to do the backup and how to restore it. I have configured a new Proxmox virtual environment where I restored the VMs which were backed up from uh, the previous uh, Proxmox virtual environment. So this could be in case you are changing your hardware, when you are moving to a new hardware, if you want to reinstall completely Proxmox virtual environment and then you want to restore the virtual machines, this is also one of the ways that you can use. You can see the list of all the videos I have provided the link in the description, how to backup, how to restore and how to even configure a new system. Hope you like this video. I'll see you in next video. Take care and goodbye.